Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. But for right now, I wanted to talk to you how, about how to do a Git clone and specifically doing it on the operating system Ubuntu. As you can see, I've got Fulcafasa here. That's Ubuntu 20. And I'm going to open up my web browser and I'm going to bring it to my GitHub repository. That's github.com slash CameronMCNZ. There's a listing of repositories if you click on this little repositories link. And if I drill down, I see that I've got a little repository called my GitHub repo. There's only a few files in there, index, script, style, nothing too complicated. So I want to clone this. So you notice there's this green button here that says code. It's got a little HTTP link to this repository. Notice that it ends in extension .git. You want to copy that. So I'm just going to click, click that little button make sure that that URL is copied. And with that copied, that's really, you know, the toughest part in getting a git clone to, to work on Ubuntu. Now, I'm going to open up Terminal. The first thing you want to do is just make sure that you've got git installed. So you can do sudo apt install git. That will install git. Now, I think I've actually already got it installed. So uh, I think that's fine. You can always do a git dash dash version too. And that'll tell you which version you're on. As you can see, I'm at two and a quarter myself. And so with git installed to clone a git repository, all you have to do is say git clone, then paste in that URL. And you can see it's now cloned all of that repository into you know, this particular folder here. You can see my GitHub repo. Now that's GitHub. If you actually wanted to go to GitLab, there's GitLab slash Cameron MCNZ. You notice that I've got a folder called GitLab Made Easy. They also have a, it's not a green button, it's a blue button, but they also give you an HTTP link, so you can copy that. Go back to the terminal if you want. Paste that in as well, and there you go, git clone, and now I'm doing a clone from GitLab as opposed to GitHub. And you can see both of those folders, GitLab Made Easy and my GitHub repo are, are both there. Now what can you do once you've got one of these repositories configured or cloned? Um, you, know, you can always head into it. And if you want, you can add files. You can go touch myfile.html. You can add that to the index. And the other thing you can do is commit. Now, since I just installed git, I'm actually going to get a little problem if I try and do a commit. So a, a git commit command would look like this. Git commit, add a message, my commit. It's a bad git commit message, but you get the idea. Now you notice it says, hey, you know, you can't do a commit until you've told git who you are. You have to say git config dash dash global user dot email and then your email address. And then you got to do a git config user.name. Now those aren't used for any marketing purposes or anything. It's just used to keep track of who did the commit and what's their email address if you want to uh, give praise to the person for some of the code that they wrote. Now after that's been done, I can do my git commit. So there you go. A little git ref log will show that that commit is there. And then if you really are crazy, you can always do a git push origin. And if you do a git push origin, all you have to do is provide your credentials. I think I'm Cameron MCNZ. And I'm not telling you my password, but I think it is. But, 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 but. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Gonna do that again. Cameron MCNZ and the password is That's correct there. And then all of a sudden you see that that's now pushed to the server. And if I go back to GitHub, notice there's one, two, three, four, five files there. You can see that my file has now been uploaded. And there you go. That's how easy it is to do a Git clone and even a few basic Git operations with Git on Ubuntu. And so there you go. That shows you how to do the basic git clone command on Ubuntu and also steps you through creating your, your first basic git commit and also doing a little bit of config there with your username and email address and also even pushing back to the server. So you know if you can get a hold of those 
couple of commands, you know, you can be pretty proficient with, with Git. So it doesn't take too long to become a, a, a bit of a Git master. So there you go. If you want to learn more, head over to the serverside.com. I've got plenty of Git, GitLab, GitHub, and various other tutorials over there. Plus, I'm always trying to keep up to the latest on what's going on in server-side development. And if you're on Twitter, give me a follow, at CameronMCNZ.